Hi everybody, this is Dutch on the Mystic Mountain Homestead channel and more. Today we're going to be talking about making your own beeswax from scratch. Hi, this is Kimberly and um, today we're going to pour some wax onto this. I don't know how this is going to turn out, but let's see. So we have some melted beeswax here. I've done it in a double boiler. And this is a silicone mold. So here we go, we're going to see what happens. Okay, pressing it down. Uh, this is definitely just a trial and error. We're doing a little experiment. So we're going to let this cool. And the reason why we would make our own beeswax uh, foundation, and that's what this is, is foundation. It goes into the wooden frames on um, inside the beehive. It helps the bees build uh, comb out. It takes seven pounds of honey for the bees to produce one pound of beeswax. So with um, using foundation, it speeds things up. It makes stronger foundation usually. Uh, a lot of times this is for a honey uh, super, and this would be used because it has no wiring support in it, would be used for uh, cut comb. But you can put wires in, in it. You can lay wires in it and make it stronger so that you can use it for year after year if you were uh, going to extract honey with an extractor. So we're, this is just an experiment. I like to be able to be self-sufficient in many, many ways. And if I could make a sheet of beeswax from my leftover um, extractions and my cappings once in a while, then this is a wonderful way to utilize that um, honeycomb. So let's see. Um, this What I had done here is I put some foil down. I knew it was going to spill over. These uh, silicone molds, I had just purchased this uh, to see how I could get it to work for me. It's got a little lip here, and this top sheet just fits over down into it, and it snaps in together right here. Now, beeswax could still come out here on the back side of it, but I didn't pour enough to make it. Do that as you can see you can see the darker blue here is where beeswax didn't go but even if i can get a partially uh, done sheath then that's going to be a success for me here so this takes a little bit to cool i had let the beeswax cool just a little bit i used a double boiler style here just using a, a, a couple quart pan and this uh, pouring um, container here that I usually use for making candles and things like that so I let it cool just a little bit so that's why we had this here you can see um, it is hardening up but it's still soft enough that I can squeeze it a little bit so I really want this to come out nicely so I'm not going to mess with that yet I'm just going to go ahead and maybe break off some of this excessive because this here that spills over I put it on foil that way I can just drop it right back into this melting pot and let it melt and use it maybe to make um, another sheet of wax if this turns out well for me. If it doesn't, I'm not going to give up on it. I've tried a couple different things just on my own. Uh, I know that machines that make this are very expensive. You can buy rollers that almost like is like a ringer on an old time washing machine that you can use to uh, roll out foundation or roll it through the ringer like type and uh, so I'm just trying some different things here just to see what's gonna work and what's not so this is kind of cool how this all peels off here <laughs> but I like that because it saves it also it keeps it from being a mess on my countertop we'll just kind of peel off the extras here. We're giving it time to cool inside the mold. It takes a little bit longer because it is encased in the silicone. 
There's no guarantee, and I may be pushing this. I may need to wait longer, but let's go ahead and pull this back. Ooh, not looking bad. I hope it comes off the bottom as easy as what this top sheet of silicone is coming off. You can see where it's stuck a little bit, but it's still not bad. It's really not. It looks really good. Look at that. I almost wonder if I should let it cool just a little bit more here before I try to peel it off of the this. I don't want it to be crumbly. Break off these little edges that that um, are on the side here where the little lip is. That's just to help keep it from running away from the mold. That little lip. <clears throat> And where you see the blue, is that just where it's real thin spots at? Yeah, those are thinner spots. And you can see here where the wax stuck to the mold just a little bit. Um, and, and this is the first time this right. mold has been used. So usually with uh, candle molds, I, I'm assuming uh, with this it would be the same, that the more they're used, the more seasoned that they become as you use them. So well, this piece looks it's a pretty thin right there. Of course, that is the edge, a little crumbly. Oh, it looks like it's coming up good. Uh, I'm hoping so. I have high hopes for this. Oh, I'm, I'm pleased so far. You can hear it coming up off of it. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> we made our own beeswax foundation. Um... If I had to criticize this, I would say it's a little thick in some spots, but this would actually work. This would guide the bees. If I put this into a frame, bee frame, and put this in a hive, the bees would definitely draw on it. You can smell the beautiful smell of real beeswax, and the bees just love that. So I think that this is definitely a success, and I'll be doing some more of these and see if I can perfect it. I would like to see it about as thick as it is right here. See, I hold it to light. You can see through this portion. I think it's the way you poured it. It could be. It could be because I, I poured it and then went back over right. and poured it so again. Maybe if you just like pour heavy like like a, like a zigzag going forward like this. It might. And then I also might try taking a rolling pin instead of just pressing it. And then roll it. That's what I was thinking and too. And roll it out. And that might help also distribute it. It distribute the beeswax, but I I have to say I'm not unhappy with this. No, it looks awesome for the just first yeah, time go. I mean, it, it is a I don't like wasting anything, and you could get by with them being thinner. Of course, this is a commercial piece of beeswax, and you can and it, definitely see the difference yeah, on there's, thickness. There's a definite difference in thickness, but um, I I'm not displeased with it. I think it's going to be just great. So when we put them side by side here, you know, I, I the bees would work on this just as readily as they would. And this is a, a full frame? Or this is a deep, deep frame, is what I meant. Frame. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And this is for a honey super. And, but what I could do is I could set this on here. And just cut it to size. And huh? cut it to size and then just remelt this part if I wanted it for the honey super. Right. And then, But this would fit fine just into a... Um, frame for the bees to put in the beehive and while it's not wired horizontally i i vertically wire it so if i'm not doing a cut comb which would you would do with this one if i was going to use this for long-term foundation for my bees to lay their brood on and the queen to rear young on i would definitely um do the horizontal the uh, vertical horizontal i'm sorry horizontal wiring of this and the vertical, you know, you could do that if you had the wires pre-cut. And that would be something that could be done to set into this mold. But this is pretty successful. Yes, they're so not I'm great. Pretty, pretty happy with it. So this is uh, using our silicone mold. Um, I think I paid somewhere around $35, $40 for this when I got this. Um, I think it was worth it. And I think this is something that I think every beekeeper should have on hand because if like last year during early COVID and 2020, 2020 and 2021, uh, foundation became hard to get a hold of. And you, it really turned out pretty quickly, you know? Oh yeah. It was a pretty quick turnaround. Right. It was a pretty quick turnaround for this. And for a beekeeper who's just a backyard beekeeper who needs, you know, just a few sheets of foundation every now and then, this would be some way to reuse your uh, beeswax that you harvest off in cappings 
and um, I think that it would be worth the time and worth the value for it. All right, guys, remember to like, subscribe, and smash that thumbs up button. It really does help a lot. Until next time.